hello today in this video i will discuss about include or required both are available in php and global scope variables in functions in php so today my discussion is the based upon the programs so i will just write one small programs and with the help of that program only i want to just describe all of these things then we'll get better concepts regarding all these points so first things regarding the include in php either you can say include otherwise the required meaning is the same only only the little bit purpose is the different whatever the uh, web programming uh, scripting languages are there uh, out of all of this web scripting language in php this is the one kind of the unique features uh, you can include the contents of the one file you can call that whatever the contents you are writing in the one file that information that again the whatever either function either the declaration of the variables whatever that you can call you can use in the any other file take very simple example for any web applications my I mean, basic template is there bottom we are displaying about the uh, uh, what is called uh, copyright other by the uh, copyright symbol and the rate of so and so company and sometime might be you are just putting the some social media link also in the bottom and along with the url also that now the new styles based upon the new trends again you can say you can add the again the menu back in the bottom page uh, at the place of the footer same way you can again the utilizing the menu again and again i mean the all of the links name in the again and again in the all of the pages same things for the header part again there again includes again the linking of all of the css file javascript file and even for the um, title of the page also you want to keep along with the sub meta tag also you want to call you utilize to all of the pages so what is happening if you are using the concept of the include you write that information in the single file and that file only you can include in the all of the pages so first advantage for this one tomorrow suppose that if you want to change any things just open that page only you change only one place and that will reflect to the all of the pages just like a, uh, creating a function in the c other by c++ so same way here don't say the function here again the contents of the file whatever you are writing in the one file that information you can call again and again so if you are utilizing that concept in php you have a four different way one is the include another is called include underscore once another is called required last one is called required underscore once so first i want to discuss uh, include and the required difference what is happening for the include you can include any informations okay and whenever any mistake or any error is found in that info page so rest of the code will work that is the again the advantage of the include but the required if you are getting any information probably any syntax anything is the wrong in the one page and that if you are adding in the another page so in that page any problem is there your complete script will stop so this is the difference between the include and the required same way include once and the required once name itself it is indicating you can use only once in a page next time if you want to use that file you cannot use so that is the concept of the include once and the required once but both out of these two all four you can say include is the more popular because with the help of this one there is no much impact for the other scripting part of the your code so generally person is using for the include only syntax everything nothing extra again the syntax here at the place of the include you can write only the required so what i will do one small demo program i will create one variable uh, one file php file in that file i will put again the two variables name and i will store some value and that variables which i will declare in the one page i will display the addition otherwise concatenation concat of that two variables in the my main page after using the include so what i can do i will create first of all one simple uh, uh what is called php file and there again just thing i'll put only the two variables name and i'll just uh, initialize some value for that variables only okay so you can see for that purpose i will open notepad and here just i will write the php tag only nothing extra yes 
you see this php tag middle of this php tag only i declared the two value dollar f and o i am writing here 45 dollar s name equal to i am writing here 60 and uh, i can display again the one message also echo values are coming from include file so this is again the one message yeah, this value is coming from the which place right so this is the one small file i created nothing to value i already put there and again i display the one echo message and i will save this file in the same folder but the extension of that file is the dot php so where i can save again we have to put inside the uh, root directory of your again the web server mine is the web server that's why i'm telling web server depends upon the jamp and the lamp again so here i can put again the INCFIL. This is my file name. INC file name dot PHP. I put okay. And in the notepad again, I can put for double code to protect my dot txt extension. Done. Then again, I'll create the one new file. Again, we have to create the one more file notepad. And in this file, I will write again the HTML code, basic part of HTML code I can write in here. And then I can write the title. And just you can write anything. Yes, include functions in PHP. And close the title here. Then coming to the closing of head then start body right and after the body again i display one message yes h align equal to h1 h1 space align equal to center demo program for include yes and close my h1 then you close the body and close html right after that i will save this file with the help of the another name this is the my main file and this file i'll include the first one so again i'm writing alloc inc dot php so this file first I will run here nothing this is the HTML code yes you see here this is the HTML code again this is the HTML code only nothing extra here so here only this message will come till now so we'll see it is coming or not so in that case localhost test PHP I kept the file inside that one alloc.inc.php this is the my file name yes demo program for include file in the php now you see here i have a, this two value i will call there so before that one i have to include this file okay for including this file what is the syntax first thing you can include the file anywhere in the this page either the beginning of the html either the after the body after in between the head anywhere you can include the file so just consider I including this file before HTML only. That also possible. Best option is like this only you do. Yes. So this is the PHP tag I have to write because the include function is in the PHP. So what is the syntax? Include a space double code and then again you see what is the file name here. File name is inc file. So incfile dot php close the double quote semicolon so we included the contents of this file in this page and now whatever the declarations if you are doing that will come here so now after this you can write here uh, I can use center then easy for you center And here again I can display here uh, can I use some syntax uh, this one color combination for you 
colored colon red i can put easy to and see this contents and middle of this only i will just use that information which available in that file so so again i have to write php tag only here so php tag and middle in middle of this one we'll use here so echo first number each dot will concat the value from there what is the name there we written there you see first value is the dollar fno second value is the dollar sno okay so in that case and uh, dot, dot symbol and then again dollar f and o again dot we want next line another value so we can write the html code here br uh, slash br close this one right same way echo second number each dot dollar s and o again dot same concept br this is the br slash like this one thing. so br slash double quote this then last again we are displaying the addition of these two anything you can do then some how to sum this plus this so we can use direct here without storing in the third variables plus dollar s and o okay and then again you can put the pr yes now control s and you see what is happening now yeah first number is coming second number is coming and message is also coming values are coming from the include files but we are getting the one problem here something so we'll see some small mistakes we did what mistake we did here we missed the concat again dot again yes now you refresh yeah first number this one second number this one and sum is the this plus this and you see message is coming values are coming from include files might be you are asking why the this message is coming in the top because we call that file in the beginning of the html one that's why the message is going back if i will call see the difference here where you are calling the file i will call here again after this only you see now message will come here again itself yes you see message is coming now so where you are calling what contents are there that is again the very very important so now you see all declaration everything you put in the one file tomorrow if you want to change anything suppose that you want to display here again the echo copyright copyright at the rate of ar suppose that this message you want to display okay so i can use here the br also yes coming here copyright so tomorrow you want to change this copyright info this is a very small example i am telling so only you change one file whatever the file if you are calling where you are calling this file that impact is the same so modification is the good for the developer managing the code is good for the developer in that way and uh, you can include anywhere but depends where you want to include at the place of the include you can use include once that also will work i use the include once same concept output will be the same so here that file you have to include only once next time again you cannot include that file okay another thing is again the required so it required same concepts yes coming but in the required what is happening any problem is there in this file suppose that you are getting any problem in this file so next part of this one it will not work whenever using the include but if you are using a uh, required if you are using the include if any problem is there any error or something is happening in that one rest of the part of your script will work so due to that generally include is the more popular
and the required again the required underscore one see the another part of the um, another again the uh, way of the using the required but here again concept is there if you are using the required once that means again you cannot repeat that file back so this is the regarding the required okay so uh, you can just suppose that you want to create one menu so i use the one include file here same way i want to use one more file along with the menu items okay including the link whatever you want even for html also you can write this page i added only for what i written there only the php code suppose that if you are interested to use the again uh, html part only okay so in that case keep one point this is your main file already here document html head is there so this no need to write okay after the body only we can write whatever the html tag if you want to use so i will create one more file here easy for you notepad and this file i will write only html part which i want to use so my intention to use here h2 align center just suppose okay and uh, i can write here welcome to php programming and close this one h2 i will change color also then easy to uh, see the output for you A style inline css i am using here color colon i can go for the green right and then again suppose that if you are writing here one more center tag and then writing here your normal statement b i can put b okay india is great country okay so now you see close b close center now i will save this file not the html i will save this file dot php only so in same folder i will save this file htm file dot php htm file dot php i already saved so now i want to call this file also so after this center i want to call this file so one more php tag i can write okay and here i can include include htm file dot php okay now you save this file and you see the output yeah so this information is coming from the another file but in that file you see what is there in this file only html tag is there not a php tag so don't keep in your mind ki only the php value we can call we can include in the another one no even only html also we can add so you can see here i added one file here again i added one file here so in that way you can add the multiple things together in the file multiple things you can call you can use in here okay so this is the regarding the this is regarding the include include ones required and required ones so i think you call uh, you got the idea about all of these things now next thing is there again the global scope variable in functions yeah so now i will discuss about global scope variable in function in php so what i will do in the same program in this program only i will write the again the one more functions so in this part only after this include only you can write the functions functions function syntax is the same like a c only so function keyword and then give the function name i am giving the function name alloc and this is the function bracket we can put here curly bracket we can put and here i am writing the two things and before this functions i will declare the one variables count equal to 50 now you see in this one i am just 
I want to display the value which I which I you declare outside of the function. So I can use the echo value of count dot operator and again we can write the count and then I can use the br also. Yes. And one more message I can display normal message echo value is coming from functions. Yes, I written the these two statement. Now you can see outside of this bracket I will call this function. So calling the function is a very simple only a look and this. okay and here again i am displaying the value of the count outside i can display value of count outside of functions otherwise you wait this part we can use the letter again yes so we'll save this file now i will run yeah undefined variable count is this one we are getting this is again the one of the error what error line number 27 and this value is not coming so what happened this count this count is they are not getting inside the functions this count they are not getting inside the function okay that's why this value is not coming okay same things if I will write in the outside of the function then you see count value is coming or not it should come yes coming I can use only one br easy for you uh, here again br you see here yes so this line value is coming count na? 50 is coming outside but here it is not coming and giving the error so in that case if any value inside the function if you want to use inside the function if you want to use which declare outside then you can use global what we can use global global that is called a global scope global dollar count that's it control now we'll see error is still there or not no error is not there and the value is also coming clear so what advantage for you the value we declared outside of the function variables are there outside of the function so using the global we can call inside and again that functions we can utilize anywhere so full flexibility is there if something is outside also use global you can call inside the function do the statement write a statement perform the all of the tasks whatever you want to do with the help of the functions and finally again you can call the functions okay calling the function is very simple only so this is called again the global scope variable in functions so this is again the one of the best part in the php so today in this video i think you got idea about the global scope including the all other include required and other informations so next video again i will continue remaining part according to your syllabus so thanks for your presence